Jesus came to earth. All right, this is it. number one. Jesus came to pay the price for the redemption of what God lost. We have looked at what God lost. And we have also, look at Luke chapter 19, verse 9 to 10. It says, And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come, that Jesus himself, to seek and to save that which was lost. That is why Jesus came. Number two reason why Jesus came is to give eternal life to those willing to be translated from death to life. John chapter 1, verses 11 to 13. John chapter 1, verses 11 to 13 he says, He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. His own, they are many the Jews. But as many as received him, to them he gave the power or right to become children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Those who were born of God. Every human being who wants to see life must be born twice. You are born by the will of the flesh, the blood, and man, as physical death, and then you must also be born of God, which is spiritual death. So that is uh, one of the reasons. Number two reasons why Jesus came to earth. Is it number two now, number three? Is to seek those desiring to worship God in spirit and in truth. We have read this script on the Friday. But the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. That is uh, number three reason why Jesus came. Number four reason why Jesus came is by the full knowledge of God, Jesus as Son of Man was deemed to have died in eternity past. In Revelation 13, verse 8, okay, and we have read that all who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb's land from the foundation of the world. Uh, number five reason why Jesus came to the earth is this. If Jesus had not come, the scriptures would have fallen to the ground and the word of God become of no effect, which will never happen because the scripture says no word of God is devoid of power. No word of God can come back to God. Since it has come out of the mouth of God, it cannot return to him. For instance, when God commanded Adam and Eve to replenish the earth, by transgression, they became incapable of replenishing the earth. So right now, the only way the earth can be replenished is by binding uh, Satan and his cause, which will be done at the end of this dispensation of grace. We are told that an angel will pick up Satan and put him in the bottomless pit with his God. Then the Lord Jesus Christ will preside over the earth and rule it with a rod of iron for 1,000 years. That is the time the earth will be replenished. Now, in, uh, post, if you look at the scripture in 55, 10 to 11, you can then understand why it is absolutely impossible for the word of God not to come to pass. But if Jesus had not come, it would have been terrible. But you know that would not happen. What's the number six reason? If Jesus had not come, a certificate of occupancy would have been given to Satan. You can imagine that. That would have been disastrous, isn't it? This, the ownership of this earth. Already we are in so much trouble because of the activities of the kingdom of that earth. Can you not imagine when the full right of ownership is given to the enemy? <laughs> it's incredible. Thank God for Jesus. Now, in the verse chapter 5, verses 1 to 3, let me read. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to lose his sins? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. And John the Revelator cried with a, with a, with a lamentation that there was nobody to open, uh, open the scroll. Because without you being able to collect the scroll from the ancient of days and open it, no way for the earth would have been disastrous. But one of the <clears throat> elders said, weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. 
to take the scroll and open it. If you read for that, that's what you're going to see. So, why did Jesus come? Now, okay, here yeah, is there. Uh, one of the elders said, do not go. Why did Jesus come? Number seven reasons. Jesus came to earth to prove the justice and righteousness of God in the executing the eternal death sentence passed on Satan upon, and upon all his followers. When Satan conspired with his five I wills, which you will find in Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 12, he made four, five declarations. He wanted to be another God. And then he took action and went and fought and went to heaven to fight, but he was defeated and thrown to the ground. You see, the, 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 he contended with God that nobody was capable of obeying, obeying God. And that's where, um, I think it's in Isaiah or so, the Lord was saying, uh, uh, and I sought after a man, I looked for a man to, to, to stand in the gap, and I saw none. But my arm brought me strength. In other words, God looked for somebody to redeem the earth that was there in bondage. He didn't see anyone, so he himself became the redeemer. Now, here, we are going to say, Jesus came to there to prove the justice. Satan said nobody can obey God. But he's not a liar, you can see, because Jesus obeyed God. He lived here perfectly. He was tempted on all points, but not a single sin. And that is why he is qualified to redeem man from his holy state. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cast into the everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. By the way, devil and the angels are not in, the, uh, in hell right now. What I mean, they are not confined in hell. They will be confined in the lake of fire at the end of the dispensation. So that is the reason, at least seven reasons why Jesus came to heaven.